Hello, uh, good day, or uh, it see, looks like night, but this is Norway, so this is actually day. It's, uh, well, day, day-ish. Um, this is Norway at quarter past six in the evening. And, uh, oh, I see it's probably going to focus bad here, but that's okay. I'm uh, running a bit low. I'm at uh, 20%. So uh, normally I would have to stop and charge at the fast chargers over here on the right <laughs> in Dionic. I can see their full note. It's like a winter holiday, so everyone is out traveling. Uh, well, it's at least a winter holiday for some parts of Norway. So the chargers are full. But not all chargers. This is uh, Nebenes. Used to be one of the world's largest supercharger sites. Now you can see it. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really packed. <laughs> and it's not only Tesla's charging here, it's. Um, yeah, there's an Ethron. <laughs> Let's uh, drive around here a bit. I uh, see it's absolutely full on the regular chargers. It's uh, yeah, it's it's not full on the superchargers. This is one of the first superchargers in Norway that's open to everyone. So I'm going to charge my Ionic here. <laughs> Piss off the. Tesla owners, well, not really. I actually did have a Q&A session. Uh, it's not public. Uh, it was a closed session with the Norwegian Tesla Club. But we had a session with um, the charge master of uh, Nor Nordics. And basically Tesla's, uh, what should I say, uh, how they plan to solve uh, Tesla owners not charging due to the this types of things. It is to just build a whole bunch of chargers. <laughs> so they're going to expand rapidly. Uh, but now let's find a charger and see if I can charge here. Right, so I uh, found an unshared stall. Now uh, luckily I, all, I have a Tesla as well so I have the app already but um, let's try it. This is stall 28. Now I got to grab the CCS cable. Ah. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a bit tight, but luckily this car has the charge port on the same side as the Teslas. And I'm connected to 20A. So, ah, the lights, always the lights. There, 20A. Ah, the lights again. Start charging. This screen might be a little bit different. So that's it. It's actually much easier than the other apps. Now let's wait a moment until it connects and see how it does. All right, so that failed. <laughs> let's uh, try again. It does say plug in the car first and then press start charging. That was what I did. And I did have an error message in the car itself. I can hear the car lock. So, um, it does say it can take up to two minutes to start charging in the app. But the error message I got was in the car. So, um, let's wait a bit and see if we can uh, get that error again or if we can actually charge. Yeah, there we go. File på hurtiglader. That means uh, error on the charger. Hmm. This one still haven't failed. So I wonder 
Is it just incompatible with this car? Or what's going on? Okay, so maybe it was a stall after all. I switched stall from 28 to 19B. This is also an unshared stall. And it works. I'm, I'm charging. I was at 19%. Now I'm at 20. So EV Notify says I'm charging at 57 kilowatts right now. Uh, it's uh, about what you usually get uh, in this car at this state of charge. But I'm now charging at the supercharger. <laughs> That's quite cool, I think. Let's go outside and have a look. So the car is charging and this stall, 20A, that I wasn't earlier, there was just a Tesla there and it couldn't charge either. So it, it was the stall. So this actually works great. It started really fast and um, charges at full speed <laughs> and I'm not blocking any Tesla drivers. So yeah, but check this out. There are so many cars charging here today. And the regular chargers are full and they have a charging queue. So, yeah. <laughs> supercharging the Ionic. That's not really something I expected to do before, um, at least now in the immediate future. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to see how this works. So let's uh, charge up and then see what the end screen looks like. So halfway to 100% <laughs> I'm gonna charge to 100% but we can see here the display is kind of nice you can see the speed the price how much I put on so far and the cost for it so I think this interface is actually better than the regular charging apps that non Tesla users have for the other stations so uh, this used to be one of the world's absolute largest charging sites with 44 supercharging stalls and a bunch of, or not that many, regular stalls. So it started off rather low, but then they built and built and built. Now I'm standing up here together with the rest of them or with the new bunch. But uh, this one is going to be dwarfed by the new charging site at Liotoppen. There are already 40 stalls there, but they're building 40 more. So it's going to be 80 stalls in one spot. And I think that's a world record. So this is gonna be one of the small ones soon. <laughs> so unfortunately in the Tesla app, you can't see the state of charge of the car you're charging. I don't know if uh, many, of, uh, some have that. The Chem Power I think has it in some of their chargers. Um, but the regular charging apps, I don't think you have that anyway. So you can see now I am at 77%. That's more than enough. Uh, it's cost me 80 nook, which is not bad. <laughs> um, still a bit expensive. I didn't buy the subscription because I don't need it. Uh, I'm the other cars, uh, I, I'm not going to charge this car that much here. But the break even point is about 70 kilowatt hours, which is not much. And you only have to pay month by month. You don't have to commit to a whole year. But let's uh, unplug. I'll press stop charging. I'll press stop charging with my fat fingers. <laughs> and now it says it stopped. You need to move the car fast unless you want a blocking fee. And that's one nook slash nook per minute. Ten nook per minute. Uh, one euro per minute. So better uh, remove the plug and uh, as usually in the Ionic you have to lock and unlock the car to actually open it. Now it's free. Yeah and now we're not getting idle fees. End price, 84 nook, 
18 kilowatt hours and it was fast as well <laughs> uh, yeah so i uh, hope that was uh, informative and fun and uh, this is open now in some places in germany in netherlands in france and in norway not all stations so you gotta check anyway hope to see you next time and uh, bye bye